The government says it has accepted the overwhelming popular vote to leave the European Union. In a statement from Downing Street, the Prime Minister said he respected the freely expressed will of the people. In accordance with Article 50 of the Lisbon Treaty, the UK government will tomorrow be serving a notice on the presidents of the European Commission and the EU Council of Ministers in Brussels that the UK will leave the EU in two years' time. Within that timescale, it's expected the country will seek relationships with other trading blocs, particularly the European Free Trade Association. We have, of course, invented this bulletin. But it is possible because of what ministers decided when they met in Portugal in December 2007. The European Union was formed many decades ago and uh, it's comprised of many different um, treaties. The Treaty of Lisbon is perhaps the most interesting because it provides with an exit clause. Welcome to the Geronimos Monastery where ministers approved the treaty and also signed their names in the pavement. With me, Richard North, a leading light in the anti-EU movement, explaining the significance of Article 50. Yes, for, for you sceptics, the Lisbon Treaty is the game changer. Yes. It changes yes. everything. Yes. 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 For the first time, embodied in the treaty, formally recognised in the treaty, is the right of member states to leave the European Union. This is all mightily helpful for those of us that are Eurosceptics, isn't it? Because we've got a, a pathway, perhaps. Yes, uh, you, you made the good point. It, it, it doesn't presage or dictate content. It simply sets out a procedure for negotiations. So in this hypothetical situation that we leave the European Union without any thought, it would be absolute chaos, wouldn't it, Sean? Yes, the, the, the whole of our international relations are tied up with treaties, agreements um, and fundamental uh, joint programmes. And the idea that uh, the sort of British could stand astride the, the, the White Cliffs of Dover and see off the foreigners and tell them what for, tell them that we're leaving, and the foreigners would sort of meekly turn around and say OK and come running to us with, with, with agreements for trade and other ideas. It's, it's just fantasy. It's everything else that, that goes with 40 years of integration that has to be worked out to the finest detail. And this presumably... So the Lisbon Treaty signals a clear way out and our future bulletins may not be so improbable. In talks over the country's future membership of the European Union, the Prime Minister has told Parliament the government will fight for what he calls the best deal for Britain.